we had a little malfunction. But anyway, welcome back to What Grinds Our Gears with Brianna and Jamie. Okay, so in this segment, we're going to be talking about our favorite Disney princesses and why we love them so much. And we have so exciting. We have a list, and uh, Brianna's mm-hmm. going to introduce the first one. Our first favorite Disney princess, which we decided after much aggressive deliberation, mm-hmm. is Merida. Ah, oh, this is my girl. <laughs> this is our girl. Uh-huh. I don't even know what to say about her. She's just so... Cool. Cool and independent. And, I mean, I always get into this little argument with my brother because he always says it's her duty. Like, she should have expected that when she got older, she was supposed to marry someone to save the kingdom. And I'm always like, yeah, but I wouldn't want to marry anyone to save my kingdom. Yeah, she doesn't need anyone. She can do it by herself. She's really strong. And, you know, she's she's like, I'm going to win my own hand in marriage. I was about to say that. She's like, I would like to battle for my own hand in marriage. And then she, like, shoots the arrows and, like, beats all of them. And I was like, mm, good girl. I know. I also like her hair because I feel like we can identify on that level. <laughs> yeah, she's honestly all around great. Um, I really like her. I like the fact that she's not, like, a damsel in distress mm-hmm. waiting to be saved. She's strong and independent. And I really like that. This, like, new wave of Disney movies, like... Brave, Princess and the Frog, um, Frozen. Mm-hmm. Not so much Tangled, but like those three, I guess. They're the three of the most recent ones. <laughs> At least from this decade. And I really like this like new wave of Disney movies that yeah. it's less about yeah. I'm a damsel in distress, I need someone to save me, and more about like I'm going to save myself. Or more about like my friends and my family. Like my family is what's important. And I really like that idea because I think it um, sets a really good example for little kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it teaches them a good lesson, I guess, instead of just being, like, waiting to be saved. It's like, you can do it by yourself. You can do this. You're strong enough. I think it's a good message. It's a much better message and better lesson than just, like, hey, I'm a princess. I need my prince. Someone come save me. Okay. So. Jamie had the paper backwards for a second, so you need a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, our next princess that we love is Mulan. This is Jamie's other girl. This is my other girl. I love Mulan. Jamie cheats on her first girl from Mulan. <laughs> okay. Um, the reason why I like her is because she saved her dad from going into war and dying. And she, she, she went, you know, instead and pretended to be a boy. And nobody knew she was a girl. It was great. <laughs> and, I mean... She learned how to fight. She did all this. She, like, saved her dad from whatever it was. And he, she per- he was, like, they were going to war, and he was sick, and they wanted him to go. Yeah. And because she was, she like, you can't brothers. go. You're sick. And he's, like, well, I don't have any boys, so. And she was, like, I, I'm going to go make you a boy. And then she, like, chopped off her hair and left. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> She also, again, proves that, you know, she's strong enough to fight. And she she's actually better than a lot of the men in her um, Yeah, unit. once she actually gets fully trained, she's, yeah, like, on top of things. She's really impressive. So I'm really impressed by Mulan. I'm like, ah, that's my girl. It's that's also her. kind of cool that Mulan, I feel like the message is more about Mulan and Brave, kind of. Mm-hmm. Well, Mulan and Merida, I guess you could say. I feel like for them, the message is more about, like, be courageous and brave, duh. <laughs> and, like, stand up for yourself and be, like, compassionate with your family. Yeah. As opposed to, like, I feel like that's the message that was for them. Yeah, because, um, you know, Merida from Brave, again, it was her mom that she mm-hmm. had to be compassionate with. And then Mulan with her dad. And I feel like, you know, again, it teaches a really good lesson to kids. Like This is going to be, like, to the theme of the segment. Really good lessons. <laughs> I feel like Versus I'm, really bad lessons. This is why she's, you know, second in a list. Because she's one of our favorites. The top that. three... Or maybe, like, more like the top five, let's be honest. Yeah. Like, those are just our girls. Like, we would do anything for them. We love them oh, so much. Want to yeah, be them. They're so, they're so impressive. Number three. Oh, number three. I love number I three. I love number three. She is my favorite. She's just, like, everything. I should probably say her. My number three is Pocahontas. I love her so much. Mm-hmm. She, that's, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just said it's for Merida. Oh, my God. I'm going to die one day. Pocahontas is just... She's perfect. I don't know. I feel like she does more than the other ones, kind of, Mm -hmm. because she stops this huge war between, like, two sides, and she is willing to sacrifice herself for the guy that she loves, which I guess is a little bit of a cliche, but in the end, she doesn't even go with him. 
Mm-hmm. In the end, she's like, listen, I appreciate you and how good looking you are, but my family's here. So I'm not going with you. I feel like she's such a good person and the mm-hmm. way she's portrayed. I really like her because she's selfless. Yeah. And the way that, you know, she sacrificed herself and all that. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing bad to say about Pocahontas. She's great. Hmm. Who's next? Oh, you're oh. going next. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to hand Jamie the paper. There we go. This is one of the few times that we didn't make two papers. So we're, like, awkwardly shuffling back and forth, and I apologize. Yes, if you hear this awkward, like, paper. Paper rustling in the distance. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, the next one is Elsa. She's not a princess, but, you know, she's, like, in the list. We felt like she deserved to be on the list mm-hmm. because, I mean, it's Elsa. Yeah. I mean, again, with the strong person that she doesn't need a man to make her happy and everything. And I feel like, I don't know, it's just, she's very relatable, I feel like, because... She was so scared of, like, being herself and, you know, scared that people were going to hate her and that she was going to be ostracized yeah. from, like, her family. Thank you. I forgot what I was going to say. And for she, second. it's kind of sad because she spent, like, a majority of her life alone and, like, she, her parents had to lie to her sister and tell her all this stuff. And in the end, like, the sister is the only person that could have saved each other. Mm-hmm. So. So, yeah, I I really like the bond that they share and stuff because, you know, Anna does save her sister in the end, and, yeah. I'm also kind of excited to see, um, in Cinderella, we're we're going to see Cinderella on Friday, I guess that's the only reason we started talking about Disney Mm -hmm. and princesses, but when you watch Cinderella, I think at the end, there's supposed to be, like, a little clip of, like, frozen summertime or... Frozen Spring. Or I didn't know like this. That. I'm yeah. so excited. Oh my god. It's I don't know. I think they're gonna do a Frozen Part Two for next year. That's exciting. But I'm not sure. I kinda don't want them to. Because I feel like whenever they make a part two of any Disney movie, it sucks. I know. I'm excited because it's frozen, hello, but I don't know. I I don't want it to suck at the same time. And if it sucks, I'm gonna be so sad. Let's see what happens. Our what is this? Fourth? Fourth, fourth I think, yeah. Let me count. Fifth. Ooh, this is our fifth. Oh, my goodness. Our fifth favorite Disney princess. Actually, Jamie's never seen this movie. So anything she says is going to be based off of what I've told her in the last, like, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But our fifth favorite Disney princess is Tiana, which she is a princess technically because she marries a prince. But (laughs) I just love her so much. I love everything about that movie. I love... The setting, I love who she is as a character, I love the songs, the songs are amazing, and it just, I feel like she's another one that's really relatable, kind of, Mm -hmm. because 90% of what she accomplishes and goes through in the movie is based on her own hard work. She doesn't really like to rely on anyone else, and she doesn't want anyone else Mm -hmm. to be there for her, she's Mm -hmm. just focused on accomplishing her own dream, and the dreams that her mother and father had set out for her. Yeah, I feel like any time a character is strong like that and, you know, they kind of do it for themselves and they work hard, I feel like, you know, they deserve recognition for that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And that's why she is in our top five. It's kind of depressing now that our top five is done because Wait. there were, like, three... No, 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 we're going to keep uh, going. Two more that we like. Three more. We're going to keep going, but I also feel like it's kind of sad because our top five... It, there's not a lot of space, but there are so many more that we love. Mm-hmm. I also, okay, next down the list, our sixth one is Jasmine. And we love her. She's sixth in our list. That doesn't mean we we don't like her. It mm-hmm. means that, you know, we loved everybody else more, but we still love her. Um, I mean, what to say? I, I love the movie, Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin? Like one of my favorite is, movies. Aladdin was my childhood crush, one yeah. of many. And I feel um, like he was I love crush. all the characters in there. They're yeah. so funny, so good. Um, the genie guy is awesome. <laughs> um, I like the movie. I mean, the 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 songs in the movie. Those are it's really very good in Aladdin. Yeah, I feel like Jasmine in Aladdin was well, not I feel like she was like the first female character that Disney really ever produced that was more interested in herself mm-hmm. and her own goals and ambitions rather than getting a prince. Yeah, because she had so many suitors and she hated all of them. Yeah. She didn't want to marry anyone and then... None of them were, like, good enough and she didn't like any of them. Also, she's the girl with all the money. Yeah, she didn't marry a prince. (laughs) Yeah. He married her and then he became the prince. Yeah, she is the prince. I think that's the only one that that happens. 
Yeah. Is it? Um, I'm trying to think. I guess entangled, well, kind of. Rapunzel, kinda. yeah, she's a princess. And then and, um, she marries Flynn. And, um, I think that's Anna. It. Yeah, but they don't get married, do they? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't anyway. Remember. I don't remember them getting married. Let's keep going down the list. Um, after Jasmine... It's are finally the middle of our list, and after this, they start getting bad. We start hating them. Mm-hmm. But our seventh is Belle, and I love Belle I so love much. Belle. I feel like, for me, Pocahontas and Belle are like my two favorite Disney characters of all time, just because Belle is so stubborn and annoying, and she. Everyone thinks that she's weird because she's a girl and she reads and she has her own opinions and stuff. And I really like that that's one of the main things that the Beast likes about her. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, did you know his real name is Adam? No. How freaky is that? Oh, my God. The Beast has a name. The Beast has a name. Wow. (laughs) We learn new things every day. (laughs) Okay. Do you want to say anything else about her? Yes. I really like Belle because, again, she reads and she's, like, really Mm -hmm. smart. Um, I, the only thing I don't like about her is that, oh, the beast, she can change him, whatever, you know, that thing. I don't and know she if she was s- focused on changing him, though. I no. feel like, but at she... least in the Disney movie, she, they kind of, like, hung out together and he started to change. Mm-hmm. And then when he started changing already, that's when she started to be like, ooh, I could keep changing him and he could Yeah. Move I also past really this. like that she, um, saved her dad in the whole yeah. process. I mean, she, it shows that, you know, she's That a was person. her purpose. That she's selfless and all that. Because she was willing to go live with this beast. Yeah. For her dad. And, I mean, that's uh, that's amazing, actually. Um, next on the list, we have Rapunzel. Okay. And, okay, we said that we didn't... We kind of... They started to suck after Belle. But I feel like Rapunzel doesn't suck that much. I really like her, actually. Rapunzel, like, leads into the suckiness. Yeah, she leads into the suckiness, like you said. I mean, she's really naive. Mm-hmm. Because uh, she's young and... She's been, you know, kept in this tower by this evil witch um, her whole life, so that's not really her fault. Um, she also, she's also not looking for, like, her perfect prince, you could say, because she's more focused yeah. on getting outside and seeing the world. She wants to go to, you know, the city, to the castle. She sees all the lights, and she's, mm-hmm. like, she's like amazed by it, and so she wants to get out there and see. I never thought of it that way, but I guess that's true. That's really mm-hmm. cool. It's also kind of cool that... You have to recognize that she is naive, but she's not stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's naive because she doesn't know a lot of things because of the situations that she's been placed in and because of the people that she has been around, I guess you could say. Yeah. But once she actually gets out there, she kind of knows how to take care of herself, mm-hmm. even if she takes care of herself with a frying pan. I mean, that's the like, point. I like that scene where she hits him with that's a frying pan. That's great. Yeah. It's really oh, that's, cute. That's one of my favorites. Our next, oh, our next princess, we don't like her that much, is Anna. Oh my from gosh, Frozen. she's irritating. I don't like Anna. I feel like if I knew her personally, we would not get along. Mm-hmm. She meets, I mean, even Elsa says in the movie, she meets a guy and like three hours later, she wants to marry him. And then at the end of the movie, everyone is shocked and surprised when he doesn't turn out to be, like, her one true love and whatever. Well, they only knew each other three hours. So. Yeah. Um, the whole time, the whole movie, she spends, um, you know, saving her sister and looking for a boyfriend. I think that's really pathetic. Yeah. Like, she was there at the coronation party looking for someone, and then when she found Hans, she was like, oh, my God, my one true love. And then all she could talk about was him, but she didn't even know him that well. It was, you know, it was... She should have seen it coming. The other guy, even, um, Kristoff, is like, what's his last name? And she doesn't know. That's really How pathetic. many brothers and sisters does he have? And she doesn't know anything. Mm-hmm. What's his favorite food? She knows it's sandwiches. Like, that's it. That's as far as they've gotten on the first date. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um... Next on the the, li- the list is Aurora, <laughs> and I don't like her because she's stupid. <laughs> she's really naive, and, like, I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't have much to say. I just don't like her. I like Maleficent better. The, the only person I like in the movie is the, is the villain, Maleficent, yeah. That's it. I like, she's actually my brother's favorite princess of all time. He names his cat after her. But, um... I like you know, the name, though. You know how I really like in Sleeping Beauty? Um, the three little fairy godmothers? Mm-hmm. They're really cute. I mm-hmm. like... The blue one. What's her name? Meriwether? Is that it? I don't know, actually. I think it's Meriwether. Because she's 
just like really stubborn and angry and she wants everything to be blue and gloomy and I feel like that's me. <laughs> <laughs> our next, oh. Our next is Ariel and I don't like Ariel I at all. I hate her. My mother loves Ariel. My mom has red hair so I think that's the only reason she likes Ariel. Yeah, probably. That she can like identify with her because of that. But I don't like her. I don't understand her. She's like 15 or 16, right? Mm-hmm. And she sees a guy once and she's like, oh my God, this is it. I'm going to marry him, fall in love. I want to be a human. And Ursula warns her and Ursula's like, hey, that's not a good idea. And she's just like, I don't care. I'm in love with him. <laughs> I can do what I want. I'm a grown woman. Oh my God, that's a funny impression. I don't know it's why It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. And then she gets to land and she's like confused as to why he's not paying attention to her. And I'm like, girl, you can't talk. So yeah. I have she with she her. gives up everything for this one person that she doesn't even know. And it's even worse in the original story. <laughs> like I told Jamie the original story and I think I traumatized her for the rest of her life. Yeah. Because my mom and my brothers had this thing when we were little that we liked to read like the actual versions of the fairy tales. And yeah, the Ariel one is not pretty. Everyone dies at the end. That's all I have to tell you. And he doesn't even end up with her. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> there's so much no in that movie. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on to our list. This is our second to last princess. And um, I hate this one. I mean, yeah, yeah, I hate her. Cinderella. It's Let me funny tell that you. we hate her and we're going to see Cinderella on Friday. Because we love the actress. The actress is mm-hmm. so pretty. But let me tell you why I hate Cinderella. First of all, okay, she is so stupid. She lets... Her evil stepmother boss her around like she can't do anything about it. Well, she could actually do something about it. If I were her, I would have poisoned all of them and gotten them out of my house. Because that is her house. And her stepmom just came in and took everything from her. And you don't let someone do that to you, okay? You may be naive, you may be young, but don't be stupid enough to let somebody do that to you. And... And then afterwards, she's like, oh, my gosh, you can't go to the ball, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes and she meets the prince. And she's just, like, waiting in her house for him to save her because she's a servant. (laughs) And she's just, like, there. And he comes and he, like, sweeps her off her feet and takes her away. But meanwhile, they didn't know each other. They only danced for maybe, like, a few minutes together. They danced, like, five songs. Yeah. So they didn't know each other and she had to leave. And he chased her because he didn't know who she was. So then he, I don't know, I mean, he didn't marry her. They didn't get married because they loved each other. They just kind of... He was just like, oh, who is this mysterious person? I must find her. And that was it. So I hate Cinderella. In the original one, it's also kind of gross, by the way. I'll tell Jamie when it's over because I don't think I'm allowed to say it on the radio. Oh, God, I'm scared. (laughs) But it's just, there's nothing good. I know Cinderella is a lot of people's favorite, but I feel like it's a lot of people's favorite just because it's usually the first one people see. And we're running out of time. So the next one is Snow White. <laughs> Sorry. I really don't like Snow White. I we hate, hate her. her so much we with a furious, so red, oh. fiery, aggressive passion. She's so stupid. There's nothing good about her. She spends her whole time hanging out with dwarves. And <laughs> she's the movie's so stupid. She's like dead. She's asleep, possibly dead. And this guy walks by and he's like, Haley, make out with a dead girl. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. It's not cute. It's not... A, romantic there's nothing it's really creepy actually <laughs> oh i don't even know what to say about they didn't it didn't even meet before that did they no, no that's no. just so creepy i don't get it i mean and then they oh my god i i don't know i'm just gonna stop there's nothing good about snow white the I, songs aren't even that good i hate snow white the, princess. the only good thing cool thing about snow white is that i think it was disney's first like colored film or the first princess that they had yeah it was the first princess so that's really cool that's like landmark and historic and but after that it sucks yeah snow white sucks yeah okay so we're that's gonna our moral snow white sucks. we're gonna end it here for the segment and we're gonna be back with feminist perspective yeah <laughs>